testing. In this section, we will show the testing procedure in a professional environment. Depending on the test device you are using, there are two ways to collect specimen for testing. Specimen collection using a safety lancet for the 3-in-1 lipid panel. For the 3-in-1 test, it is recommended to use the safety lancet to collect 35 microliters of specimen. Massage the hand from the wrist up to the fingertip a few times to encourage blood flow. Clean the testing site by washing your hands with warm, soapy water and then dry them thoroughly. You could also choose to use an alcohol swab instead to clean the testing site and then let it air dry completely before testing. Turn on the meter. To insert a test device, open the canister or tear open the pouch and remove one test device. Firmly insert the test device into the device channel in the same direction as the arrows indicate on the device. Ensure that the test device is inserted all the way to the end of the device channel until the position arrows are parallel with the two arrows on the device holder. The blood drop symbol will flash when the meter is ready for the specimen to be applied. Check that the battery symbol is not visible on the screen. If it is visible, your batteries are running low and you can only perform a few measurements, so replace the batteries as soon as possible. Carefully rotate and pull off the protective cap. Hold the lancet firmly against the puncture site. Press the lancet against the puncture site tightly to lance the skin. Gently massage the surrounding area toward the puncture site to collect the required blood volume. Do not excessively squeeze the finger. Wipe away the first drop of blood. Test processing and applying the blood. Apply light pressure to obtain a second drop of blood. Do not apply specimen sample directly on the test device. Collect capillary blood of 35 microliters for the 3-in-1 lipid panel test using a capillary transfer tube or pipette. The capillary transfer tube will fill automatically. It is important to use the capillary transfer tube to collect specimen in order to receive accurate results. Make sure the blood covers the air vent of the tube or it will be difficult to squeeze the blood out. Never squeeze the capillary transfer tube while sampling. Apply the blood sample to the center region of the specimen application area of the test device. The meter will begin testing automatically with three dashes in a line flashing on the display indicating the test is in progress. Results will be displayed in 45 to 120 seconds. Press right or left to view other 3-in-1 test results. The meter will automatically turn off after five minutes of inactivity or when the power button is pressed. Specimen collection using a lancing device for the individual tests. For the individual tests, you can choose to use the lancets with the lancing device or the safety lancet to collect 10 microliters of specimen. I will be demonstrating the use of the lancing device for this test. Unscrew the lancing device cover from the body of the lancing device. Insert a sterile lancet into the lancet holder and push it until the lancet comes to a complete stop in the lancet holder. Hold the lancet firmly in the lancet holder and twist the safety tab of the lancet until it loosens. Then, pull the safety tab off of the lancet. Carefully screw the cover back onto the lancing device. Avoid contact with the exposed needle. Make sure the cover is fully seated on the lancing device. Adjust the puncture depth 
by rotating the lancing device cover. There are a total of six puncture depth settings. To reduce discomfort, use the lowest setting that still produces an adequate drop of blood. Use settings one and two for delicate skin, three and four for normal skin, or five and six for calloused or thick skin. Pull the cocking barrel back to set the lancing device. A click may be heard. The device is now loaded and ready to obtain a drop of blood. Massage the hand from the wrist up to the fingertip a few times to encourage blood flow. Clean the testing site by washing your hands with warm soapy water and then dry them thoroughly. You could also choose to use an alcohol swab instead to clean the testing site and then let it air dry completely before testing. Hold the lancing device against the side of the finger with the cover resting on the finger. Push the release button to prick the fingertip. Gently massage from the base of the finger to the tip of the finger to obtain the required blood volume. Do not excessively squeeze the finger. Wipe away the first drop of blood. Test processing and applying the blood. Apply light pressure to obtain a second drop of blood. Do not apply specimen sample directly on the test device. Collect capillary blood of 10 microliters for the individual test device using a capillary transfer tube or a pipette. The capillary transfer tube will fill automatically. It is important to use the capillary transfer tube to collect specimen in order to receive accurate results. Make sure the blood covers the air vent of the tube or it will be difficult to squeeze the blood out. Never squeeze the capillary transfer tube while sampling. Apply the blood sample to the center region of the specimen application area of the test device. The meter will begin testing automatically with three dashes in a line flashing on the display indicating the test is in progress. Results will be displayed in 45 to 120 seconds. The meter will automatically turn off after five minutes of inactivity or when the power button is pressed. Please follow proper precautions and obey all local rules when disposing of blood samples and materials.